Hello, sports fans and hockey fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with a video today to take a look at the new Stratomatic hockey game. Now, uh, the game, as you, as you may know, I had put up a previous video where I had looked at several of the player cards uh, contained in the game uh, for each team or for most of the teams. But this video, we're going to take a look at the game itself, the features that it has, things that it can do. I got a request from somebody to show the game and to show, you know, what the game can do. Um, apparently, the person hadn't, hadn't bought the Stratomatic Hockey PC game in, like, almost a decade, I think. So he wanted to know what it looks like, what it plays like, things about it. Now, one question that he did have is he asked if um, you can do like roll the dice and play the game yourself and input results into the game, into the PC game, like you can do with baseball. And the answer to that is a resounding no. You cannot do that. Um, you also, can, uh, another thing that you can do in the baseball but you cannot do in the hockey is you cannot make your own fringe players or your own custom players. You can um, go in and change the names of a player. So like for instance, um, we'll go here and then we'll go to Boston and then we'll go to, let's see, Connor Clifton. Um, and then you can go, let's see here. And then you can say update player. And so as you can see here, I could change Connor Clifton's name. I could make Connor Clifton into me if I wanted. And I could change the positions he plays. I can change any of that. But I cannot um, change you know, the, uh, the aspects of his card here. Like the where the goals are, where the goalie ratings are, and all of that stuff. You could not change that. You can't enter your own player card. And that is one of the pet peeves that I do have with the Stratomatic Game Company is that they seem to put all of their, like they put most of their resources into the baseball and the baseball is what gets all the attention, it seems. You don't see a lot of changes, in fact, well, you don't see a lot of changes even to the baseball over time. It usually only changes as far as rules go um, and to keep pace with the actual baseball rules. But the, the look of the games doesn't really change. None of them. Not even the baseball, really. But certainly the hockey, it doesn't change from year to year. The look is the same. A lot of the things that it can do is the same. Um, so you can't do that. You can't make your own players. You can't, um, you can't uh, roll the dice and play a game and input stats. Uh, let's go to my islanders and now one you can up uh, another thing you can do that you can do um, is you can update the teams and um as far as their colors and all of that stuff so if you go to team and you go to update team and you go down here to team information and you go to the new york islanders and you can see I have, uh, right here, I have an Islanders logo inputted already. And I've got the team color is blue. And you save that. And so if you take a look at the Islanders, you can see here I've got the Islanders name is in blue. And if you look at any of the players on the team, you can see it's got the Islanders logo. It's the old logo, all right? It's the old logo. It's the, um, the fisherman. But um, now you can see the the player name is in the color of the uh, you know the team color and the um, and the logo appears next to the player's name and when you play a game as you will see that logo will appear on the ice on your side of the ice um, I think I did that for Montreal because I am going to set up a game with Montreal let me see if it yes and it did hold so. I did that with Montreal as well, and if you look at Montreal, you can see that the team is red. So again, you just go to uh, the 
uh, you know, the team, update the team, and you can update your teams in that way. You also could download player photos, but um, if you don't have a place where you know that there is a stock, uh, you know, uh, player photo uh, thing that you can download, you have to go in individually to the internet and download the uh, the um, player images and to put them on here. So that could be very time consuming. Now, what you would do, um, as I have done, is I go to um, go to the C drive, go to Hockey Stratomatic Hockey, go to um, logo and here you can see I've got all of the team logos so I all I have to do is upload those logos into each individual team and then we will have the you know and then I'll have the logos for every team so far it's just Montreal and New York that I've done so that is that's that and um uh, yeah, and now let me go in, let's go to the Islanders, and then Team, and then uh, Computer Manager. Again, you can make your own computer managers. You've got, um, we've, you can see we've got 18 uh, players, 12 forwards, 6 defensemen. You've got the offensive lines. You can make changes to the offensive lines if you want, in any way that you want. You can make uh, changes to the defensive lines. The goalies you can set as a percentage of times that they'll play, or you can go to the starting goalie schedule, and you can uh, input players, as I did here with the first game uh, against the Panthers. If I was to play a season, I put uh, Sorokin as the starting goalie and Varlamov as the backup goalie, and you can do that. You can go all the way through the schedule and do that for every game. And then you've got a goalie to game matchup, just like with the baseball, how you can do a pitcher to game matchup. You can do that with the goalies. So um, let's see here. Um, and then uh, we've got, uh, you know, the different, you can go in and do different um, options for the league. Um But anyway, um, and some of these things you can also, uh, and the, there's different rules also that you can use. You can do the five-minute overtime or a ten-minute overtime or, um, you know, whatever. You, I don't have enough time really to show everything that the game can do, but uh, it's there. you, you want to get in there and uh, experiment and see what you want to do, how you want to do things. So anyway, without any further delay, let's get a game going. We're going to do an unscheduled game, and we're going to do the Montreal Canadiens will be the visiting team. And he will be uh, controlled by the computer. I'm going to control um, the Islanders, and I am going to do computer lines but human decisions I'll just make the decisions and so you can see so you can see uh, and you can take the sounds off I'll show you that in a second but here you can see you've got my logo is on the ice their logo is on the ice um, and uh, here you've got options for the game and you can do um, First of all, I'm going to change this. You can you can change how quickly the um, the sidebar shows the the results. And this is at three seconds and two seconds. I'm going to change it both to one. I think one second is good enough. And um, we're going to take the sounds off so it doesn't overpower what I'm saying. Now we will go to the face-off. So you do the face-off, and you can see over here, this in the green is the uh, game, the game result, the game board, you know, the, the game play results, and then here is the actual game. 
and I will do the next action and then of course there's another green you know it's telling you what's going on here Caulfield has an inside shot and uh, save and the left defenseman gets it and so my left defenseman has it and I go next action now what you can also do is you can see uh, every time I had to make a next action it was another fast action card and I clicked on next action but if you go up here to the options again you can do auto action card and so now once I hit this it won't keep asking me consistently to, to do what the next action would be so now we've got an inside shot and that's going to be a goal for the Islanders. So we score on Jake Allen. I shouldn't be so happy about that, really, because Jake Allen is my goalie in the OHA, in the uh, competitive league that I play in. But anyway, so now you, it will ask you to do the face-off. But again, since we've got um, automatic fast action cards, the gameplay flows a little better. One shot for each of us so far. Harris has an outside shot, and he will take that. And uh, there's a save, and now um, Zach Parisi has it for the Islanders. And now Pizzetta has an inside shot, and that's going to be a save in the right defenseman. And so you can see, this is what the game looks like. Um, again, over here, this sidebar has, you know, that shows you what the uh, cards are, what the game cards and the game roll, dice rolls and everything are in green. And in white is what's actually happening in the game as if it were an actual um, game. And so you can see that. Um, and now the only downside to this is if you want to naturally have a stop in the play, you have to wait until the play naturally stops because of some reason. Uh, but if you're doing fast action card um, every, every time, you can stop after every fast action card, after every play. And so let's see if there's a stop here. Nope, and there's not going to be a stop there. He's going to get it out to his uh, winger. And now Engval has an outside shot. We'll take that. And, it, and when you get it, you'll have the option to intimidate people from time to time. You'll have the option to, um, to pass the puck. See, right here, I have the option to pass the puck or shoot it or try to penetrate inside. Um, so I'm just going to shoot for the, you know, um, purposes of this. And it looks like that might be a, yes, okay. So now we've got a face off to the right of Jake Allen and we have a natural stop in the action. And I am going to go to the game and we're going to do a quick play and we're going to quick play to, and this is just like with the baseball too, you can quick play to the end of the game. And then you've got your box score. Uh, the Islanders win it three to one over the Canadians. Um, stars of the game were Sorokin, Caulfield, and Parisi. Uh, all, or, uh, Caulfield was from Montreal, the other two from New York. And then you got the game story, and that's that. So there you go. That's basically what the game, how the game looks, how it plays, a lot of the things that it can do. The, again, you can't do some of the stuff that you can do with the baseball because Stratomatic puts all of their time and effort into the baseball, and the other sports kind of fall by the wayside on that. But that is, uh, I hope that that was, uh, explains the game well enough to anybody who was thinking of possibly getting it um, and makes your decision a little easier. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.